An Emory County family is still grieving tonight, more than two years after their son was killed in a car crash. Their emotions are raw again, again because they feel the man responsible for the crash isn't being held accountable. Fox 13's John Franke has the story you'll only see here. In September 2019, Bay Nelson was driving through Price Canyon on his way home to celebrate his 22nd birthday, but he never made it. He was hit head on by a truck driver who investigators found illegally crossed a double yellow line. I never got to see him be 22. He had, his life was just starting. He had so many plans. An empty hook where a Christmas stocking should hang is a poignant symbol of what was taken away from Mindy and Bob Nelson. It is us, and there isn't an us anymore. That hook is where their son Bay's stocking should hang. His cell phone is still on the charger, his boots neatly tucked away. He was a kind and caring human being. In September of 2019, Bay's mom Mindy was awoken by a knock on the door. And it was these two police officers. And, and they told me that there had been an accident. And, and the, my son wasn't coming home. Investigators found a man driving a semi tried to pass another truck in a no passing zone on Highway 6 and hit Bay head on. The driver, Daniel Santos Perez, was convicted by a jury of second degree felony manslaughter, a crime that carries a one to 15 year prison sentence. Mindy and Bob thought they had justice for Bay. That there was just a little bit, a little bit of, of breath that you could take, like we've come this far for you. But that breath was taken away at the sentencing hearing in October. He, he said, said you're, you're not gonna, gonna like this. my decision. He looked at us and said, you're not going to like my decision. The judge sentenced Santos Perez to one year in the Carbon County Jail. I think I immediately froze. I didn't, I was like, what, really, no. Court documents reveal Santos Perez is not an American citizen. His lawyer argued his imminent deportation makes little sense for the citizens of Utah to pay for further punishment. The Nelsons believe the punishment doesn't hold him accountable. So I, Feel the state should set, should change the laws. There should be a minimum in felony cases. There shouldn't be, oh, well, the judge can go below this minimum. They're sharing this story, hoping it brings change so no one else will have to experience this emptiness. I feel like we have failed him. <laughs> and it makes having even a little bit of peace impossible. I spoke with the Utah Sentencing Commission. They tell me every case is different and the judge will look at several factors when determining a sentence. In the studio, John Franke, Fox 13 News, Utah.